Bobby and Helen again, and um, just having conversations. I had uh, the question or comments from some of the students, but she was <coughs> concentrating on breathing. And I've, I found this with a lot of students that suddenly they're starting to learn about breathing and, and pranayama and the action of breathing. And so they start really working with the pelvic floor and breathing in the chest and really thinking about the breath a lot, which is, which is very good because um, it, um, this is the important part of yoga, breathing. But they're becoming, again, too intense. They're trying too hard. Same as when you, I'm asking you to reach for fingers and you reach them and you go, and it messes it up. It's the same thing with a breathing process. But if you're starting to breathe and you're thinking pelvic floor and you're, you're feeling all these muscles and breathing in and feeling every week, but if it's tense, it's not going to work. It's just going to block your body. So you really need to learn how to take this process that we're, we're teaching, Shankara and myself, um, teaching with the lower dantian and allowing the breath to come in and still maintaining all these controls. What um, <clears throat> I tend to do in my own practice is I trust in the process, but I trust it's going to work and I concentrate really only on a couple of areas. I don't think about all the lungs here and everything. That, that I know is going to take care of itself. And this is because of experience. But what I work with again is grounding. So if I'm going to be sitting in Padmasana, my grounding is going to be my toes. Since I flex my toes a little bit, the whole connection happens through my body. If I extend my fingertips, same thing. Uh, again, like Qi Kong, that connection. All I have to do is maintain the alignment of the body. Make sure the ribs aren't sticking out. Make sure there's a release in the tailbone. Um, the shoulders are very important. But there's a general lift of the upper chest, all these intercostal muscles, the serratus, all those muscles just gently. And again, I stress gently, holding the shoulders up, freeing the neck. So I'm not trying to hold everything, which I see a lot of you are doing. You're trying to get all these positions and say, I need the shoulders up. And you, and you create tension, and then that, that messes the whole process up. So the, the, this, what I'm trying to ask you to do is learn those positions, everything we're teaching you, but let it go. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Don't try and, con I've got to be tight here, I've got to hold this. Trust in the process that you've learned. You've done this, you've learnt the ability to find these positions, relax them, and they'll stay there. All you need to do, toes, fingers, lower down to down, and then breathe. And so this process then is a soft process, it happens smoothly, but as soon as you create this I've got to breathe here, this is going to be working, this is going to be working, and you creates tension. So this is what I see in many of you in your practice. I know you're trying very, very diligently to learn to do it. Trust that now that you've had enough practice trying to do it, let it relax. It's also like you told in the last video, the pranayama is also use mind, not to breast muscle too much. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> use, and even then, don't even use your mind. <laughs> Sometimes your mind gets in the way as well. So be, be more relaxed in the process. Mm -hmm. Believe in the process. Ying and yang. Mm -hmm. Ying. Gentleness. Breathing in yang. And not tense yang. Just a balance. I'm learning about meridians, yin, yin inside, yang on the outside. 
And as we work, I use the inhalation yin, but I'm still balanced with the yang. So there's a balance between the two, but one just becomes slightly more dominant. Uh, the yin and the dominance of yin on the inhalation, which is softness. And the yang. But it's still the balance between the two. Okay, so hopefully you get some information from this video and we'll make a few more um, with this attitude in mind. We'll start to show a few postures. Okay, thank you. Thank you.